Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Hoover HLXC9TE condenser dryer. And what I want to do today is to show you around the tumble dryer, some of the features and benefits that it offers, and also a unique feature that Hoover have that, as far as I know, no other manufacturer has thought of. So, I've got it plugged in. Let's have a look. So first of all, I'll show you the dimensions on this model. And the height is 85 centimeters, and the width is just under 60 centimeters. They are standard dimensions, really. And then as you look at the depth, so if you're measuring to the front, so just the front corner, then that's 56 centimeters. Or if you want to include the door and everything, then really you need to allow 60 centimeters. Uh, it is always important to make sure you measure it first. Just make sure it goes in, because there's nothing worse than ordering it and then realizing it doesn't fit. So first of all, I'll show you the control panel. And as you can see, it is quite an in-depth control panel. There's quite a lot to it. So I'll take you through some of the programs and different things that it offers. Uh, what you will find is, first of all, when you switch it on, that it sings a little song to you, and it just wants to know what language you want. So by default, it comes up with English. Uh, what you can do is you can change the language on it, so that's very easy to do. All you do is you just press and hold these two buttons here, and then it just scrolls through all the different languages. So that's nice to know it's very easy. But considering we do want English, then just press the start button and then that's come up with the English language. Uh, what you've got, so I'll take you through some of these programs. Uh, the first one is the Wi-Fi connection. Uh, this is something that if you download the Hoover Wizard app on your phone or tablet, then what you can do is you can actually link your phone or tablet up to the tumble dryer. So I have got it set up before. Uh, it's the sort of thing that what you can do is you can actually start the tumble dryer from your phone or tablet. Uh, there will be other functions coming on fairly soon, uh, but this is the program that you would use. So you'd select the Wi-Fi option on here, and that's a fairly simple process to get that all set up. So as you can see here, that's a nine kilogram. That's the load size of the tumble dryer. And really for, for a good size family, then nine kilograms is a popular size that people are going for now. Uh, as far as the different programs, there is a, a huge amount of uh, choice on here as regards the programs. Uh, I'll go through some of these. So the first one, this is called the Eco Cotton. Um, what you will notice is that on the right hand side here, you've got the red LED display. And I suppose what Hoover have chosen to do is rather than put in the, the description of the program on here, they have it scrolling across here on the right hand side. Um, and also you've got the time on here. So it does say two hours, 37 minutes. Uh, with these tumble dryers, and with a lot of tumble dryers now, this is something called sensor dry. And the main advantage of sensor dry is that when you put the clothes in, um, it, the dryer itself will detect how long it's needed for the clothes to dry. Uh, because clearly for every load, it will vary. Uh, first of all, the load size, also the amount of moisture that's within the clothes so there's not a set time but to start off with on that program it will say 2 hours 37 uh, but often you'll find that it will reduce that time and it's normally within the first say 10 or 15 minutes once the sensors have done their job and they've detected um, the load size and also the amount of moisture in the clothes then you will notice that the time on the front will change so don't be scared if you're looking at two and a half hours um, as you go around, so the, as I say, there are a lot of different programs on here. Um, something to bear in mind, and it's not quite clear on the front display, is that not all of the programs you can put a full load in. So for the Eco Cotton, that's probably one of the main programs. If you want to use it for a full load, and if you want it to be fairly energy efficient, then that's the main program to use. And personally, I think that's that's probably one of the more popular ones that customers will use. And the next one around here is the Whites program. Uh, so with this one, again, it's saying two, 2 hours 37. You can use a full load, so you can go up to the full 9 kilograms. But they're the only two programs, really, that you can use the full 9 kilograms on. All of the rest of the programs are smaller loads. Uh, so with this one, then this is suitable, again, for... I suppose mainly for, for whites that you've washed. 
And as you go around to these other programs, you've got things like the jeans, darks and coloreds, and then these synthetics. Uh, all of these are reduced down to four kilograms, so it's just under half a load. Uh, you will find that um, the, the time has reduced on here, but again, because it's using the sensor, then there is a good chance that it won't be as long as that. Uh, some of the other programs. So uh, towards the bottom here, you've got the shirts program. Uh, that's quite a good one. So if you if you're washing, say, shirts or blouses, uh, that's a maximum load of up to two and a half kilograms. But that's a pretty quick drying load of, let's say, around uh, two and a half kilograms. And then as you get to the bottom, you will notice that you've got that which is the different times. So you've got 30, 45, and 59. And what that is, so whereas you have got the sensors built in to this tumble dryer, which I'd certainly recommend, it's a much better way of doing things now rather than trying to guess the time. Uh, but for, for some people, they just want to put something in for a certain time. So what Hoover have done on this model is they've given us the option to manually select either 30 minutes, 45 or 59 minute program. And to change that, so as standard, it will be a 30 minute program. And then all you do is you press that button. So then it goes to 45 and then to 59. So if you do, you know, if you want to make sure that you want to tumble dry something or put it in the dryer for say 59 minutes, then it's nice to have the option. So this next program is something which is quite interesting. It's called the all-in-one program. And if you're the type of family that you separate everything to put in the dryer, so if you put shirts in on a certain program, if you put your trousers on a certain program, um, then there's, there's a lot of different options on here. If you are the sort of family where you basically chuck everything in and you just, you haven't got time to separate everything, you just want to get everything dry all in one go, then this is probably the program for you. And what it will do uh, is it will actually enable you to tumble dry different fabrics at the same time. Um, what it does, so the dryer provides an alert when the lightweight fabrics are dry and are ready to be taken out. Because what you'll find is that if you're tumble drying things like shirts and blouses, clearly they will dry a lot quicker than some other heavier items, things like jeans or even towels if you're putting those in on the same time. Uh, so what it will do is it will actually provide an alert on the front of the dryer when the lightweight fabrics are ready to be taken out. So you take those out and then put the heavier items or uh, continue the drying process for the heavier items. So it's, a, it's I must say, it's, I haven't really seen something like that before, but it's a, a really good idea. And then as you come around here, you have got some other what they call care programs. Uh, so these will more than likely be on a, a lower temperature than the standard around the right hand side here. Uh, but what you'll find is you've got things like the extra hygiene, anti-odors program, and you've even got a Walmart. So this is a Walmart program. Uh, so this one is 70 minutes, so it's an hour and 10. And it is that time, so it doesn't tend to use the sensors on this program. Uh, a lot of people will be thinking that they don't want to put wool, woolen items into a tumble dryer. Uh, but what Hoover have done is they've come up with this Walmart program. It is only a small program, so you can only put one kilogram of clothing in. So you'd only put a handful of items in. But again, it's really nice to know that you've got the option on here. Uh, as you go around, then you've got the Delicates program. That's for a maximum of four kilograms. Uh, then you've got the Anti-Allergy. Again, that's four. And then this one. This is the XXL program. And with the XXL program, uh, this is really designed for drying large items. So if you're drying things like large linens, uh, things like curtains, uh, tablecloths, thing, things like that, that are not really an everyday drying process, then it, it will still tumble dry them and it does use the sensor, uh, but it will actually rotate the drum in a different fashion to if you use in any of the other programs. So now what I'll do is I'll show you on the display here. Um, you have got, just turn it on to the whites program, just show you. So there's quite a few different options on here again. So the first one, this is called the memo button. And what you can do is if there's a certain program that you tend to use uh, with all the different options, then you can just press and hold that button for three seconds and then it will memorize it. 
The only thing it doesn't memorise is the time delay that I'll show you in a moment. So the next option on here is the anti-crease button and when you press that you will notice that on the display first of all it shows you the time uh, but then it will actually show you the easy iron so that's the other option that they call it so it's enabled now and the main advantage of that is that it should reduce the creasing in the clothes and to do that at the end of the tumble drying process it will rotate the drum every 10 minutes so it does that for a maximum of six hours so if you keep it in for any longer than six hours after the process is finished then it won't do it so the next option on here is the drying level uh, so what you might find is that for some things like shirts you don't necessarily want them completely bone dry uh, you might just want them to be left slightly damp so this is the option on here so the the first indicator i know it's probably too small to see from there uh, but this one is the ready to iron option uh, so if you want it like that then just leave that the next one is to basically for the clothes to be uh, well they call it dry hanger so it's to get items ready to be hung out so they're they are fairly dry uh, but again if you want them to be left not quite ready to put in the cupboard then that's the one to select the next option is cupboard dry and that's basically where you can take the clothes out and to put them in a cupboard straight away uh, the next option is the extra dry uh, that's to completely dry the clothes uh, and really that's recommended for I suppose a full load uh, but you will notice that it does make quite a difference to the time on here so that can go up to four hours and uh, as I say the first drying level is two hours fifty but again, as I said earlier, because it's used in the sensor, then to an extent you can um, not so much ignore the time on here, but don't take it that two hours 50 or even four hours on the extra drive program, don't take it that it will definitely be four hours. It could be quite a bit less than that. And the next option on here is the time delay. And this enables you to delay the start of the program. So it's not to end the program, this is to delay the start of it. Now you can go up to 24 hours, I'm not going to go all the way up there, but as you can see it does go up in half an hour increments. And then once you've selected the time that you want, just press the start button on the right hand side. So the next option on here is the child lock. If you have got cheeky little children that would come along and uh, rotate the dial or come and press buttons on here, because there's quite, if you're a child then there's quite a lot to play with, uh, but if you want to stop them doing that, then just press these two buttons on here so you just press and hold that and it says child lock on and what that will do is that will stop them changing of the any, any of the other options uh, which can be quite useful and if you want to take that off then just press and hold that button or those two buttons for a couple of seconds and then it's taken that off now the main concept of a condenser dryer is that the water is stored within the tumble dryer and then you go and empty it. And on most tumble dryers it's stored at the top left. That tends to be a fairly standard position for the water to be stored. So it's nice and easy just to go and empty it. On some of the cheaper Hoover tumble dryers then they do have an option at the bottom. Uh, I'm not really a huge fan of that, mainly because it's a lot more difficult to open the flap to bend down and get the big container out. But really what Hoover have done is they've come up with a quite a unique concept and this is what I was mentioned earlier that's a little bit different to most of the dryers. They've come up with something called AquaVision and the idea of this is that when you open the door, well first of all it's a nice easy to open door. Uh, when you open it you've got the water container that's actually within the door and I must say when I first saw this, I just thought it was genius. Now there are several advantages to this concept compared to the standard type of condenser dryer where you have the drawer at the top left. The first one is that you've got a very visual indicator as to how much water is in the dryer. So that when it, the drying process is happening, then you've got the water within the door. Uh, it does show on here, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got medium and then maximum. So once it gets to this level, that's the time to empty it. Uh, I know on other dryers it does give you an indicator, so it will light up to tell you when to empty the water out. 
Uh, but what you will find with, the, with, with a lot of the other dryers that it will just stop, so it won't carry on. So the, there can be nothing more annoying than setting the tumble dryer to go and then it's stopping part way through uh, that you have needed to empty the water and then you go back to it say a couple of hours later and realize that it needs emptying and then you need to empty the water then carry on the drying process. Uh, at least with this it's very much a, a visual indicator so you know when to empty it. Uh, so that's one thing that I really like. I suppose the next thing is that when you take the container out it's nice and easy to carry. So if you are a, a person that suffers with your hands um, I know people who have quite a few customers in that uh, mention this and they've got things like arthritis then something like that can be a lot easier than having to carry out a, a long drawer. So that's the container itself. It's nice and easy to take out and then when you want to put it back in then you just put that in, locate that and then drop it in. So it's a, I must say it's a fantastic design and I'm actually surprised that other brands haven't taken this idea and used it themselves. Uh, one other thing to mention, as far as maintenance on the dryer goes, it's very easy. You've just got the filter within the door. Um, so that's nice and easy to take out. You can undo that and take the fluff and the lint out. The porthole itself is a really good size. So on this one, it's around 38 centimeters, uh, which not many other brands have a porthole that size. Uh, the main advantage, and I suppose the reason I mention it, is because especially if you've got a lot of washing in there then when you put everything in it's not it's good to know that having a good size porthole so the only other thing you need to do is to clean the condenser unit and to do that all you do is you just pull this flap down and the condenser unit itself is located here on the left hand side and you just pull this out and then just I suppose we would normally recommend just to get a say a paintbrush or something just to give it a wipe out down the side, make sure it's nice and clean. And most brands will say to do it perhaps every two or three weeks, just to give that a, a clean. Just rotate those, make sure that's back in place. And then once the flap's back in, then you're ready to go. So the next thing to show you is this. This is a drain hose that comes with the tumble dryer. Uh, if you didn't want to use the water container, then you can actually use this. And what this enables you to do is to connect it up to um, uh, say a drain outlet so if you've got say if you've got a washing machine nearby then you could connect it into the same outlet and the main advantage is you don't have to empty it uh, just connect this on uh, it is quite an easy process it is in the instructions and then just say to having to empty the container if you are thinking of buying one of these tumble dryers i have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price I hope you've enjoyed this quick video on the Hoover HLXC 9TE condenser dryer. Please give us a thumbs up, click subscribe on a YouTube video, leave any comments below. I'd always ask for comments, whether it's good or bad about the video, just what you thought about it. Also if you've got any questions on the dryer itself, or if you're thinking about buying one and you're not sure about something, again leave it in the comments. Also if you have got one of these, if you have got a tumble dryer with the AquaVision, let me know, put it in the comments, let me know what you think about it, because I'd always appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching.